Hello everyone, today is April 7th. It is a Thursday and I can't see it, but it's just rainy. Rainy and snowy, it's still not warm here yet. I don't know what's going on. I'm filming today in my large room. You can see everything behind me here. I'll get into that. Uh, probably the next couple days I'll give you a good overview of my ceilings. But what I wanted to show you is I got a package in the mail today. And it's something that I've been waiting for, well, ever since the winter time. So I'll go ahead and show you what I got, and then I'll explain my plans. Now, I got all this stuff from Vessies. Uh, every time you get something, they always send you a little kind of bonus thing for something off. And they always send you a nice thing saying thank you for your business. And then the person that packed it, uh, it looks like Kathy, maybe. It's in cursive writing. It's not clear, but I think Kathy. Okay, so <clears throat> I got... Three bags here, and upside down, I'll pull out one. Uh, these are garlic cloves, or garlic, whole garlic, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know really what the variety is, it just says garlic. Uh, I think it's just a generic um, one, but it's considered a spring garlic. And on the back they just have instructions, these are in well, French and, and English. As you can, you probably can't see in here, Maybe you can get close. They're, the green there, they're already starting to, uh, can't get it open like that, to, to grow. So this is good. I actually got, you get three cloves, or three garlics per bag, and I have a total of three bags. So that's nine right there, and each one you'll get probably at least ten, so let's say that's a hundred. So the next thing, <clears throat> again, my three bags of everything in here. These are yellow onions. They're, um, let's see, it says produces the earliest green, garden greens or long storing table onion. The variety is called Sturon, S-T-U-R-O-N. Now I have got them before and I've had varying results. Um, I think the issue when I plant onions is I don't water them enough and, or fertilize them. Um, they don't need fertilizer, but definitely water. You want to keep them watered. And uh, it just says here a commercial variety, huge bulbs it says. It doesn't give you exactly sizes on it, but again, instructions in the back. Onion bulbs just like are, are very easy if you're just planting them. You stick them in the ground about an inch. This says what? Uh, one inch deep, six inches apart. And there you go. It's as simple as that. You could even go probably eight inches apart. Will it really benefit with this type? Probably not, but there's no harm in doing that. And each bag, <clears throat> I have three bags of the uh, yellow here, more I guess like a Spanish type onion. Um, there's a hundred, at least a hundred in this bag. So I have three bags, so that's 300. Now I also have red onions. And uh, this is just, it just says red. Um, they all say produces the earliest garden greens or long storing table onion. Uh, but it's planted the same way, again, instruction, one inch deep, six inches apart. And these give you your, your red onion, which is a different flavor, different taste. Um, I've found, you know, it depends on what you're doing because the red color can bleach things. I've found anyway. I've tried to use red onions with doing certain pickling things. And it ends up turning the brine more of a reddish color, which I didn't really like. But anyway, these are planted the same way. Now, um, <clears throat> I'll show you if I can get a close-up of, of this here. I don't know if you can see that. There's, through the bag, there's some small ones, there's some larger ones. And these are all ones that were grown from seed last year. When the bulb started to form, they were taken out of the ground, left to cure, left to dry. And then they were overwintered and stored until shipping or planting time in the spring. Um, now, to get green onions out of this, all you'd have to do is instead of planting them six inches apart, you plant them. Oh, well, let's see if it says it here. No, it doesn't tell you. Um, but you can plant these close together, maybe an inch apart. And then once you get the tops, the size you want, you harvest them and then you can sell them or eat them or whatever. Now, I do it a different way with my green onions. However, since I have so many here, I may take one back because because I actually have 600 onions now what I do do I'll show you real real quick here is last year at the market I had at least 12 packs you can buy these at the dollar store like three or four for a dollar because right? they're very inexpensive and I don't really like using them for myself the holes in the bottoms are very small 
uh, they don't hold a lot of volume. However, what I did last year is I took like say six of each kind, red and yellow, and stuck them in here, grew them out in the greenhouse for, I don't know, three to four weeks, whatever, to the tops were maybe six, eight, ten inches tall. And then I took them and sold them at the market. Now I sold them for 250, which um, is around, I guess it'd be 10, 11 cents each, because there's, there's 12 here. Um, or excuse me, 20 cents, 20 cents each, which is a lot for an onion because you can buy a bag like this probably at your local store for a few dollars. This I think cost me maybe four or five, I can't remember, four or five dollars. They're not that expensive for what you get in their quality too. They're not um, ones that are kind of junk that you get at your local store that have been sitting there for, for weeks on end just drying out in the bright lights. So anyway, I, I might do that again this year. And uh, just, you know, maybe charge three bucks for 250 And I'm not really making much money off it because I'm paying a dollar or, you know, 40 cents for this and a few cents for that. But, you know, you're making a couple dollars, something else to have on your table. Now, <clears throat> once we get into growing, these are all going to be started likely into the greenhouse. I don't have a lot of seedling trays left anymore. And I especially don't have enough for 600 onions and about 100 garlic, that's 700. I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do in the next few weeks, once it warms up, I'm gonna take the onions, we'll get into this when I start doing it later, but plant them in a row, plant them real close together. Once the tops get to be maybe eight, 10, 10 inches tall, dig them all out, cut the roots back if they need to be, cut the tops back if they need to be, and then I plant them in the ground outside in the garden, hit them with some water, a little bit of fertilizer, and, um, They'll grow good for you. Thanks for watching.